My name is Hanny Michael Nabi, and I'm one of the co-authors on this research paper focusing on transdermal scopolamine for post-operative nausea and vomiting and post-discharge nausea and vomiting, otherwise known as PONV and PDNV, respectively. The video will provide you with a brief introduction to the topics covered in this article. In today's medical world, a substantial number of patients continue to suffer from PONV and PDNV. In order to effectively treat these patients, they must first be stratified for risk. This can be accomplished with the use of the APFL scale. The APFL scale assigns points based on several possible risk factors that may lead to post-operative nausea and vomiting. Some of these risk factors include gender, smoking status, history of nausea and vomiting, susceptibility to motion sickness, and the use of opioid medications. Additionally, the specific type of surgical procedure is always taken into consideration. Each risk factor has a value of one point, and if a patient accumulates two or more points, then they are classified as moderate to high risk for PONV and PDNV. While PONV and PDNV are more common in the first 24 hours after surgery, there are cases when it can persist for several days. Transdermal scopolamine can be used as a safe and efficient method to prevent the symptoms of PONV and PDNV. Specifically, it's an anticholinergic agent. The scopolamine patch can simply be placed on the skin. Once it has adhered, it administers an initial dose of medication. Then, a continuous dose is released over the next 72 hours. In summation, transdermal scopolamine is a safe, easy to administer, effective, and economical treatment to PONV and PDNV. And it should be considered an effective tool, whether it is used as a standalone treatment or for combination therapy. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the article.